Okay, hello again. Welcome back. We're doing a little bit more with the Paladin today. So, I just got done grinding up to level 7 in the starting area. Give myself a little bit of an advantage. And got my level 6 uh, spells. So we are doing pretty good so far. Uh, we got a uh, new, new item, Seal of the Crusader. We got... What was it else? I think we got a rank 2 of something. No, I guess not. So, like, yeah, it was just Seal of the Crusader was our new... Oh, and uh, Divine Protection we got as well. So that is our new skills of the day. We are now in Goldshire. So we're going to go ahead and turn in our quest breadcrumb to here to take us to the inn. We will take the refresh in the spring water and we will set our hearth right here. So now that we're in town, we just got a bunch of quests to pick up and we need to get our blacksmith training so that we can start picking up ore. <clears throat> so he is doing his little RP thing. As soon as he's done, we'll pick up his quest. Okay, so let's hear. <clears throat> this quest, Cobalt Candles. Hello, my lady. Do you have a moment? My brother and I run an apothecary in Stormwind, and I'm here to gather large candles for their wax. Can you help me? You can get large candles from kobolds, and I hear rumors that kobolds are infesting the Elwyn mines. The Fargo Deep mine to the south, and the Jasperwood mine to the east. I suggest looking for the candles in one of those places. Bring eight large candles to Will and Pestle. <clears throat> so we'll work on that. Let's come on out here. Let's see, what do we have out here? Oh, we got a quest over here. Cool little quest turn in. We got a report to Goldshire. You have word for McBride? Northshire is a garden compared to Elwyn Forest, but I wonder what Marshall McBride has to report. Well, it says here that you've been awarded acting deputy status with the Stormwind Marshals. Congratulations. And good luck. Keeping Elwyn safe is no picnic. What with m most of the army busy doing who knows what for who knows which noble. It's hard to keep track of politics in these dark days. He's going to give us a pikeman's shield. Fargo Deep Mine. The mine in Northshire here isn't the only one with problems. I have reports the Fargo Deep Mine in Elwyn has also become a haven for kobolds. Explore the mine and confirm these reports, then rep return to me. The mine is almost due south of Goldshire, between the Stonefield and McClure homesteads. Right, we'll go and check that out as well. Let's hop in here real quick. I want to get my blacksmith training. Apprentice blacksmith. There we go. Grab that. We'll go ahead and grab the copper chain pants recipe as well. Uh, shoot, is there no mining trainer here? That's going to be a pain in the ass. Okay. So, no mining trainer. So we do have a paladin trainer. Do you have anything I haven't picked up yet? Uh, Holy Light Ring 2. Yeah, that's that's worth picking up. Okay. So let's go ahead and place that. Holy Light Rank 2. Bink. There we go. Okay, so I believe. Ooh. Get the um the Dark Moon Fair is coming to town. Alright, let's go ahead and go here. We'll get our mining pick and our blacksmithing hammer. So we can be good crafty boys. We'll hold on to the pikeman shield in case we get a decent one-hander. Remy two times. Hey there, friend. My name's Remy. I'm from Red Ridge to the east and came here looking for business. Looking for bit. And came here looking for business, looking for business. You got any? You got... His name is Remy two times. He says everything twice. Clever. A fishy peril. Stacker, there's a new threat in Elwyn Forest. Murlocs are swimming up the streams of eastern Elwyn, scaring away fish and attacking gentle folk. I warned Marshal Dugan, but he's more worried about the gnolls and the bandits. He's not convinced that the Murlocs are a danger. Please, speak with Dugan and persuade him to send more troops to the east. Gold Dust Exchange. The kobolds in these parts sometimes carry gold dust on them. I could really use the stuff. Bring me a load of it, and I'll give you the best price in town. 
best price in town. You can find kobolds in the Fargo Deep Mine to the south and around the Jasper Load Mine to the northeast. Alright, so he wants some gold dust. You can probably fix him up with that. But before we do that, we have to go to Stormwind and get our flipping mining training. Because there's no mining trainer out here. Uh, let's go ahead and turn in Fishy Peril. For the concerns. Okay. So we're just going to run straight up to Stormwind real quick. Grab our mining training. And then we'll hearth back down here to town. It seems to be a bit of an oversight not to have the mining trainer in town. Not sure why they went with that de design decision. Hmm. So, while we're walking, I'll go go ahead and go over this uh, new seal that we got. So, remember last time I was talking about how the seals and the judgments work together. The, uh, every different seal has a different effect. Some of them just do damage, some of them add debuffs, some of them uh, grant benefits to your party. This one right here is Seal of the Crusader. This one seal is a little bit different and it kind of encourages you to play with both seals. So what it does is when you unleash the seal's energy using judgment, it'll judge the enemy for 10 seconds, increasing holy damage taken by up to 20. Your melee strikes will refresh the spell's duration. Only one judgment per paladin can be active at any one time. So, basically what you want to do with this is you first you seal yourself up with Crusader. And then you judge something. And then, once the judgment debuff is on the enemy, you switch to Seal of Righteousness. Because the Seal of Righteousness deals bonus holy damage uh, when you swing. So, this increases the amount of holy damage that is dealt to an enemy with judgment. And this is holy damage. So you hit, hit this, hit him with it, and then you switch to the other seal, and then you just start whacking him. Now that's something you probably want to do if you're, if you're up against an enemy that has a lot of uh, HP and you need to uh, deal a lot of damage over time. But this one's base ability, once you seal yourself up with it, is a lot better for enemies that only take a couple whacks to knock down. See, this one, it says, feels the, fills the Paladin with the Spirit of the Crusader for 30 seconds, granting 31 melee attack power. The Paladin also attacks 40% faster, but deals less damage with each attack. Only one seal can be active on the Paladin at any one time. So, this one just makes you swing faster. And it's honestly very noticeable. Let's go ahead and do the, the wine ticket turn in. This is literally just a, a breadcrumb to show you where the wine vendor is. Which is very weird, because why would you need to go visit a wine vendor for any reason? Like, there are no quests that require you to, to go here, other than the one that I'm on right now anyways. So it's just a, a quick little jump over here, you turn it in, and you're just kind of done with it. And you, as far as I know, there is never a reason to come back here. Actually, no, 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 there might be. Um, I believe there's a quest in Red Ridge to make you go around to all the different shires and collect um, specific alcohols. And that shop over there, I think, carries the Stormwind alcohol that you have to take back to uh, Red Ridge. So. There you go. There, there is a, a s single reason to go there. So there you go. Aside from that, no reason. It's, it's just there. Also, as far as I can tell, I think it's the only Alliance city that has like a, a dedicated... Um, wine shop like, I, don't, I don't know of any like dedicated uh, beer shops or ale shops in uh, in Iron Forge I'm gonna go this way we're gonna get to Dwarf Town but honestly if you just want if you just want a, a mug of ale let's go to the local tavern No reason to set up an entire shop just for it. Oh, 
Baldest Pally. Oh, we did get a, a little lucky uh, going after the um, the Defias guys to grind out some extra XP before leaving the starting zone. Because one of them dropped a small blue pouch. Very happy with that. Alright, journeyman blacksmith. Can you train me? Oh, wait, no. I don't need a blacksmith. I need a mining trainer. We already know blacksmithing. So our mining trainer is going to be over here. In this house. This completely unmarked house. That, there it is. Well, that's the mining supplier. So upstairs, even more hidden, is the mining trainer. Boom. There we go. All right. So now we have our profession skills. So let's take smelting and put that over here. Take blacksmithing, put it here. Let's see, yeah, it's just that and that. Let's go ahead and apply find minerals. There we go. And honestly, hmm. Honestly, the, the, the secondary professions can wait. I'm not too worried about them. Let's see. Let's go ahead and hearth back real quick. We can save a little bit of travel time. All right. We are back. See, can we learn cooking? We can. At the cost of a whole silver, though. So we'll wait on learning that until we have a little bit more money. Not being a sneaky pickpocket is uh, leaving me a little, a little dry on coins. Okay. So our quest to do: start with gold dust exchange, kobold candles, and the Fargo Deep Mine. So that's where we're gonna start. It's going to take us directly south of here. And we're just going to start with the uh, the old kobolds. Keep our eyes out for any uh, any copper veins that poke up. We want to we want to get as much copper as possible. spending a lot of our time uh, checking out like rocky outcroppings and cliff sides and things like that because that's where we're gonna find all of our um, all of our copper it's a lot easier to just do skinning and look for for animals than it is to have to find nodes. Big damage. Hope to find some good things in here. I would like to find a, like at least one uh, copper node while I'm in here, but I'm not holding my breath. Engineering is very popular in hardcore. Oh, I think I see one, all the way down the other end. Never mind. Looks like it's down again. 
Let's, let's not focus too much on that. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's a little bit better. Let's heal up. There we go. Much better. That was a little spooky. Whack and mold this guy down a little bit. There we go. Some really fast respawn timers out here. I'm gonna pull my camera back a little bit, see what's actually going on. That's better. Nice. We gotta be really, really damn careful in here. Nothing in here. Those two just cleared this area out. Appreciate it. Well, we're gonna be fighting over nodes a lot, I see. Oh, she just lost another one. Ramzissimo, the warrior level 20. F's in the chat. And there's so many people on right now. Doranus the Hunter, level 12, dead in Darkshore. It's easy to get overwhelmed and just kick the bucket. Got a druid out here. A. That was mean. A lot of fighting for the mobs out here. They've never seen, seen a advanced uh, spawning before.
Heal up. Take some of the heat off. Glad I don't have that quest right now. Gotta swing faster. that full heal. Need to get this over with. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna get overwhelmed in here. Have it. It's all good. I love seeing all those like like chains of attacks hitting all at once. You just swing the hammer once and like half their health falls off. It's pretty nice. Alright, just need one more gold dust and we're done in here. So glad I can heal myself. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. This is a death trap. At least right now, while I have all, all these respawns are happening, it is. Ooh, a rust-covered blender bus. I 
I see a node though. Ah shit, this fucker has it already. All right, never mind. Moving on. All right, let's go ahead and turn these back in real quick. We can move on to the next part of the quest chain. Got him. I got all of one copper out of that whole place. That sucked. Can't win them all though, right? Here's your stuff. Thanks for the dust. Here's your cash, and here's a token from associates of mine. You might find it useful. Useful. All right, Marshall, what you got? This is bad news. What's next, dragons? We'll have to increase our patrols near that mine. Thanks for your efforts. And hold a moment. I might have another task for you. Thanks to you, we know the Fargo Deep mines infest with kobolds. Now we need a scout to investigate the more distant Jan Jasperlode mine. Explore Jasperlode and confirm any kobold presence. To reach the mine, travel east along the road until you reach the Tower of Azora. From the tower, head north. You'll find the mine in the foothills. Alrighty then. I guess that's where we're going next. Alright, let's turn this in. Did you gather those candles yet? Sure did. You were busy hunting kobolds, were you? Thanks for the candles. Here's your reward. My brother Morgan is waiting in Stormwind for my shipment of candles. I don't have enough time to make the trip myself, but if you'd like to take in the shipment, he'll pay you well. I packed up the candles and you can find Morgan in our shop, Tessel's Apothecary, in the Stormwind Trade District. That's just a quick, uh, quick run up the up the road. We can do that real quick. Part is on cooldown, unfortunately, though, so we're just gonna have to run up and bet and then back. Hmm. I keep forgetting about my damn buffs. So in such such short. Uh, Short durations. It's so easy to forget about them. But I can't equip that rifle. That'd be pretty cool. Did you imagine a paladin running around with a gun? <laughs> Good music for a capital city. 
I think my favorite city music though is um, Darnassus. Darnassus has, has amazing music. Oh, you know what? I don't think I have the uh, flight path for here. We should probably grab that while we're here. Not that we have anywhere to fly to, but better prepared than not. Here's your payment. While you're here, take a look around. I'm sure we have a potion or other trinket you'd find useful. I think we'll just take these uh, rockets. And I'll level up, thank you much. Now let's turn around and sell those rockets. Quicksilver. Bag of marbles. Glowing wax. Bottle of Dollar and Noir. Sell it all. There we go. Alright. So we're up to 17 silver now, so we can spend a little bit of money on a I'm getting our side crafting professions. So we need to pick up cooking, fishing, and first aid. What we really need to focus on though is finding copper so we can start building our armor set. That's not going to be too easy with all of these people around here. A lot of competition. Let's see, what do we got going on? We got further concerns. That's uh, go to talk with guard Thomas, and we have Jasper Lib Mine. So we'll um, we'll pop in and see the um, the Paladin trainer first, because because we did just ding eight. We want to make sure that we have all of our skills before we start working on other things. Grift bone staff. What's that? nothing decent stat stick but it's hideous though you think a, a staff named crypt bone staff would have like a, you know like a bone motif here we are paladin trainer what you got for me Ooh, let's learn parry absolutely purify purify is a friendly target removing one disease effect one poison effect that's very handy get that Hammer of Justice, now we're talking. All right. Hammer of Justice is one of the best spells in the game. Just a quick and easy, how do you do? I need to turn on my uh, buttons. Let's see. Interface options, action bars, lower right action bar. Okay. Return to game. Place that right there. So I like having my hammer on F1. It's a good place to have a uh, an, an oh shit button. All right, let's put purify on E. And parry is a passive. What is our parry chance, by the way? 4.76%. Not that great, but it's doable for now. Okay, so we got that. So let's go grab our side professions. So we're going to get cooking and first aid in this house here. Learn that. There we go. Now we can cook. Go upstairs. And the first aid trainer is in one of these rooms. This one over here. 
position. There we are. Train me. Apprentice first aid. Boom. Alright, now let's go ahead and place it. I like to keep my professions on the um, on the second page. That way they're all nice and put together and I don't have to worry about them. There we go. Let me see. Q, five. Oh, I got mixed bandages right now. Might as well. Even though you have um, access to healing, you're not always going to have access to your mana bar. So having linen bandages is pretty much a must for every character. Okay, let's get back out there. Fishing is going to be found over this way, there is a little dock with a fisherman on it. So we're going to want to be talking to him. Yep, there he is. Mr. Fisherman. Take that training. Um, he does not have supplies. He's just a fishmonger. Okay, that's fine. So let's go ahead and take this. Fishing. And we're going to put it here. I like to have my fishing on one of my mouse buttons so I don't have to um, keep my fingers on the keys to recast all the time. Okay, so that's done. So you can go scout the Jasper Wood Mine. And we have further concerns. That's the only quest we have available at the moment. So, we need to head out that way. And hopefully, we'll find some copper on the way. And also hopefully, there should be a bunch of other players out there to distract the Geomancers. So I don't get overwhelmed while I'm there. Interesting thought. Person Guild asked this. Penny for your thoughts. If Blizzard made official hardcore servers, they would be in charge of ban appeals. Or not ban appeals, but um, death appeals. Because they, they would be the ones running it. So, I wonder if that would be better than our little community hand handling the death appeals ourselves. I'm willing to bet it would be very, uh, very bad. Just, just based off of the fact that their customer service department is so bare bones that they they can never get to any kind of tickets. So I don't think I would want um, Blizzard in charge of handling handling death appeals. I wouldn't want people to have to wait like multiple days just to have a ticket resolved. Smack him up. Wish I could skin him. That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, oh, that's 
think I see a copper vein. Here's hoping I can get to it before someone else does. Make sure no one else is around me. Malachite. We'll hang on to that. That's useful for crafting. Nice. Don't, don't you fail to tempt me. It's just a copper mine. Come on now. Alright. Two hits is better than nothing, I guess. Not seeing a whole lot of characters out here. Oh, I do see some corpses though, so that tells me there might be someone out in this area. Ooh, is that another copper mine? Hell yeah. Where's the vein at? There it is. Ooh, let me add it. Let me add it. I love doing blacksmithing. Just ha having that control over your um your equipment getting better over time, not having to rely on on quests, so fantastic. Back up a little bit. Don't want to accidentally aggro him before time. Corpse later. I think my dogs are telling me it's about time time for dinner. Which I agree, I'm getting a little hungry, so we'll probably uh park it after this quest is done. Let's go just a little bit further in. <laughs> Look at him go. He's a little zoomy. There we go. Got it complete. All right. Let's get out of here. Oh, Nico Dots is dead. Level 7 Warlock. I would imagine the Warlock would be like easy mode, you know? Pet class and all. All right. So we got we got a little, little bit of copper. That's pretty dope. We have to do a lot of farming now. I'm thinking a good place to go look for copper is going to be um, north of the um, Eastvale logging camp, because there is a um, see like like this area right over here where my cursor is. There's a um, a lake. That is just surrounded by mountains all the way around. And I don't think a whole lot of players go out that way. Or have a reason to go out that far. So I might be able to get free rain over the copper out there. So I'll have to check that out next time I'm on. <laughs> They're debating over whether or not you should uh, you should be drinking while you're uh, playing hardcore. All right, let's go ahead and roll back down this way. Aken Toxic the Mage has died at level six in Doom Moreau. 
must have been a gnome. Oh, we got ate by a Wendingo. So far, this is this has been pretty fun. I I don't feel nearly as fragile as I do on the rogue. It's it's definitely a different play experience, despite it both being uh, melee. It's a lot slower, but you're a lot a lot hardier. With the uh, the right weapons and armor, I think we should be able to do to do just fine with it. And I can kind of get around the the need for um, alchemy because I bring my own buffs and my own heals to the party. Yeah, let's get this guy while we're in here. Come up. I'm just here for the free experience, anyways. So, next time we're on, we'll work on the other quest. Well, probably go down and work on getting the um, the farmlands taken care of and make our way over towards the East Bell logging camp, work on the quests out there, grind on some uh, some animals for a while. So yeah, that'll be it for today though. Let's go ahead and return this in. Jasper Lode Mine. Cobalt at the Jasper Lode Mine, you say. Curses. The situation is worsening by the minute. Thank you for the report, Stacker. But I wish that the news you brought was good news. Westbrook Garrison needs help. The garrison on our western border sends word of increasing knoll and thief activity. They're requesting we send more Stormwind soldiers. But we just don't have any to spare. If you can help, we could use it. Go and speak with Deputy Rayner at the Westbrook Garrison and see what he needs done. The garrison is down the road to the west. After you cross the bridge over the small brook, it'll be to the right. That's easy enough. We'll go see what he needs. So that'll be uh, that'll be next time on Dragon Ball Z. All right, so that's uh that's gonna be it for today. Um, again, like if you if you like what's going going on here, if you want to see more more hardcore leveling, this is pretty much what I'm gonna be doing for the foreseeable future. I'm having a lot of fun uh, playing hardcore classic WoW. So yeah, have a good one. I'll see you next time.